Everybody, it's Sun Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to teach you guys how to get iron. It's fairly simple. It's similar to a lot of the other things you've unlocked and gotten. There are a few things that I can tell you that might make your life a little bit easier along the way as well, though. So first things first, as per usual, heading to our blood altar when we're looking to discover new recipes, new structures, etc. And we're going to scroll down to Quincy the Bandit King. He's level 37, and he gives us the recipe for iron ingots, for iron weapons, and for the Hollow Fang battle gear, as well as the necessary stations to craft the iron weapons and the Hollow Fang battle gear. Quincy can be found right at the top of the Farbane Woods, right over in this section right here. Now, you'll enter from here or here. However, these will actually have wooden gates that will requ require explosives. To be able to craft explosives, you'll need to have the alchemy table and have defeated Clive the Firestarter to get the minor explosive box recipe. So we're going to start with Clive because we haven't done him either. And if you haven't, then this is where you're going to start. And if you have, then you can skip forward just a little bit. Clive the Firestarter can be found in this far left section here at the Bandit Sulfur Quarry. To craft this, you'll also need Sulfur Ore to be converted into Sulfur, which can be mined in the same location. So when you're off there doing your boss fight, just make sure you mine some of the Sulfur there as well. Once you've got your Sulfur Ore, you can slap it in the furnace and that's going to generate Sulfur. Once you've got your Sulfur, you can then create your Alchemy Table. Once you got your alchemy table, you can then create your explosives. However, you will need whetstone. I've done a video on how to get whetstone as well. You can either craft whetstone or you can farm for whetstone. If you are not sure on how to get that, then you can check the video for whetstone on my channel. Once you've got your whetstone, you'll be crafting your minor explosives. They do take a little bit to craft, so just craft yourself. Well, you only need one for what you're doing right now. So uh, you do only need to craft one. Now that you got your explosives ready, you'll want to head up to the bandit stronghold. Defeat the guards here right at the front. Probably want to pull out a weapon to do so. All right. And then we're going to pop our explosive here. So we hit the button on our hotbar. We place it like we would build something in our house. And then we can trigger it by hitting it. And then we back off. And that will blow up the gate for us, and we can walk right in. You'll need to go around the path here and get to the top to do the boss fight. As per usual, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm going to be skipping the boss fight so that you guys don't get any spoilers. And we'll be back at base once we've got the research. All right, we're back at base. We're in our furnace, and we have the iron recipe unlocked. So now we need to know how to get iron ore. The main place that you're going to be getting iron ore is here. This is the main iron mine. Now, you're going to find iron nodes sort of dotted all around these areas, but this is the main mine for iron. One thing that I do highly recommend as you move into this northern part of the map is to pick up a horse. Horses can be found at many of the locations in the northern part of the map, many of the farms, many of the militia encampments, and you literally just walk up to a horse and press oh, hold F, and that will then become your horse. This right here is what an iron node looks like. And this is uh, this is right here. So as you can see, you can find iron nodes dotted around the map in this northern, northern part here. However, the mine is the best place. It's definitely the riskiest. There's a lot of uh, high higher level enemies and some scary stuff you might want to avoid when you're in the iron cave. Uh, but in terms of iron per amount of time, it's going to be definitely the best location. We're now in the iron mine. So we brought our horse into the iron mine. There's no problem with that. Now, horses can get hurt, as you saw. So he's now going to wander off there a little bit hurt and a little bit mad. Um, but we're in the iron mine now. There are, um, There is also a, a couple of very strong NPCs that wander around here. There's an undead guy or a couple of undead guys that are very scary. There's also an archer, a human archer who is absolutely savage. Uh, she can come actually through this area. In fact, sometimes you enter here and you find a bunch of resources on the ground, or sometimes you join and the fight is underway. Um, but she, you definitely want to avoid her uh, and some of the other big guys in here on your first couple of visits to the iron mine. And there is just an absolute buttload of iron nodes all around this whole place. So if you just be careful, dodge the scary enemies. Um, you know, they have aggro ranges, so if you pull some of the scary enemies, just run away for a duration of time. Uh, or a distance, and they will unaggro from you. 
once you've spent enough time and I mined up a bunch of iron, you're just going to slap it in your furnace at home. Wait three minutes per ingot. And, uh... You'll be good to go. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on Twitch every day, except Monday and Friday. Uh-oh. And it would be great to see some of you guys there. Regardless, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.